Once upon a time, there was a vintage Charlie's Angels van model kit that belonged to my friend James. And it sat on a shelf for decades. But I took it away from all of that. Now I'm unboxing it. My name is Trevor Ursulescu, and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies Online. Charlie's Angels was one of the hottest TV shows of the 1970s. It featured three independent ladies who were smart, courageous, and beautiful, played by Kate Jackson, Farrah Fawcett Majors, and Jacqueline Smith. They had to use their wits to fight crime and solve mysteries. This show inspired young girls to reach their full potential. This message was carried on to women of Generation X in the 2000 film Charlie's Angels, featuring Cameron Diaz, Drew Barrymore, and Lucy Liu. But now let's step back to 1977 as we unbox the original Charlie's Angels van from Ravel. Ravel released the Charlie's Angels van right in 1977 at the height of the show, and as you can see this model kit is molded in color and is 125th scale. The Charlie's Angels model kit is a 125th scale mobile unit van. The box art includes photos of the painted and assembled model. The model kit comes with dual high back bucket seats, a CB whip antenna plus dual short wave antenna, truck style mirrors, custom with hood scoop, and includes a one piece body with flared fenders. The model kit also includes a custom interior with bed, icebox, TV and stereo speakers, bubble sunroof and vent, lift off roof for displaying the interior, two position rear doors and custom dark tinted portholes. On this side of the box we read, police train beauties who work as private detectives, Charlie's Angels are constantly on the go. In their adventures they travel through many locations in a variety of vehicles. Often working undercover, the Angels face danger and action in every episode of the ABC TV series produced by Spelling Goldberg Productions. Starring on the show are Kate Jackson as Sabrina, Jacqueline Smith as Kelly, and Cheryl Ladd as Chris. In this model kit you get a custom steering wheel, Kreger Mac 8 mag wheels, Goodyear GT radials, custom decal sheet, big Richard side pipes, detailed dash panel with custom gauges, overhead console with Motorola CB radio, photos of painted and assembled model, custom grill, hooker front spoiler with nerf bars, custom rear nerf bars for ages 10 to adult. Paint and cement not included. Now what is interesting about the Charlie's Angels van is that this is not the first time we've seen this model kit before. In fact it came out in the earlier 70s, just a year before, as a regular custom van because that was the trend of the times. And this is not the last time we've seen this van. It is currently available by Ravel and at one point in time another group of mystery solvers drove in that van. So let's just take a quick look at some of the pictures of it before we actually lift the lid. Alright, so let's take off the lid on this 1977 original kit. Hopefully no dust bunnies will go shooting out or ghosts. And here we are. Look at that. Molded in color for sure. Nice and pink. Woo! Crazy. Oh, one of the doors popped off, but that's okay. Look at this. All molded in that nice charcoal black color. One of the wheels popped off somewhere in there. Here's our instruction sheet looking every bit as much of the 70s as you can possibly imagine. And here we have our decal sheet seeing light for the first time in many many years. You even get smoked glass in here. Lots of pink. Very sweet. Wow. This almost makes me think of the, the uh, 59 Cadillac kit. Look at all this stuff in here. Excellent. Oh, we got the old two-piece tires and uh, a lot of cool stuff. And here we have the Charlie's Angels van instructions with all these groovy pictures about the tools that we're going to need to build the model and how to use them. Step one is our engine assembly and as you can see this is quite a simplistic looking engine. We have a left and right hand side engine block which includes the block itself, oil pan, timing chain cover and automatic transmission. 
And then dropping on top of that is the intake manifold and valve covers with the distributor and carburetor molded in place. Then we have this nice air cleaner pops on the top, left and right hand side exhaust manifolds, our belts and pulleys as well as our fan. Step two shows our wheel and tire assembly going together. Of course we've got our outer wheel, our outer tire, our inner tire and the inner wheel and you make up a set of all these different wheels. Panel 3 shows our rear axle spring assembly and as you can see we get a two-piece differential with leaf springs attached and this all mounts on our frame. As you can see we got a metal axle connecting the wheels together and then once that is down we can add on our shock absorbers. Panel 4 shows our front suspension and we do get a choice of either having this van at regular ride height or lowered down by just flipping over the position of these blocks here for our axle. And as you can see an axle pin goes through and we'll hook on to the front wheels. Here we have our lower A-arm assembly as well as coil springs and our shocks mounting up to the upper A-arm on our frame. And that about wraps up that portion. Panel 5 shows our engine and drive shaft being hooked up into the frame. And as you can see, you take the engine assembly and you put it in at an angle and twist it back just so that you can get the exhaust pipes underneath the frame rails. And then here we've got our coil going on into this little notch, as well as our drive shaft, which hooks up our differential to the back of our automatic transmission. Panel 6 shows our floor pan and dashboard assembly being glued onto the frame. And as you can see, it's quite a big floor pan. And there is some nice texture padding right here on the center console. Here we have our floor pedals mounting onto our firewall. And then we've got our instrument panel going in place onto our dashboard, as well as the steering column and our custom steering wheel. And of course the ladies got to sit down. So here we have this nice bucket seat going onto the seat frame. And these are actually a snack tray, which is pretty cool. There's our other seat, and then we've got our nice 1970s CB radio in two pieces going together and going up underneath the dashboard. Next up, we can take a look at our window assembly and the interior components. So here we have our two opening rear doors, this nice pleated padding being glued on, and of course our clear glass clicking into place. And then up underneath, we've got those side windows, as well as our front window, which all pop into the body. Panel 9 shows our interior panels that glue into the body and as you can see we're going to get a right and left hand side and they will pop right down into there. Panel 10 shows our smoke colored grill getting the headlights as well as the turn signal lenses and then behind the grill we have our radiator. There's a cute little hood with the nose scoop on it which will attach to the body and then the body will pop right onto that floor pan on our frame. Panel 11 shows us the construction of the roof and front details. So here we have these nice little skylights dropping onto our roof. There is the bed. Number 51 is the overhead console. Then of course we have the chin spoiler going in place as well as those really awesome side pipes. Now we move on to panel 12 to attach those rear doors, which of course will pop into place here. Then we have our rear taillight lenses. We have this nice rolled pan here as well as the big Nerf style bumper and our second side pipe. Panel 13 wraps up the show with our final assembly as we get to attach on the Nerf bars to our chin spoiler as well as the driving lamps. Here we have our whip antennas going into place, our decal for the license plate on the back, as well as our custom side mirrors and the amazing Charlie's Angels decals to let you know that the girls are coming. And one other thing that was really cool about this kit is that you got a really groovy Ravel's Modelers Club invitation right in the box. Here we have the body of our van and as you can see it is molded in nice pink with uh, quite a bit of seam lines on there but nothing you couldn't take out. You do get a nice Chevy logo right up in here. Those wheel flares are really amazing. And there's our side windows as well. The van is quite hollow with all the components gone, so that little panel that glues across there will really stiffen this up in the back. I'd probably recommend gluing that on first to this body. As you can see inside there is not much detail. Well there's a little bit up along here, some texture. Not very many mold marks to deal with, but they are still present, and a few little bits and pieces to remove. Overall though I think this van body is quite nice. 
but again it is a little bit flimsy just because of all the components that are missing out of it. Here we have the frame for our Charlie's Angels van and as you can see it is quite nice, really well constructed, lots of nice detail like on the gas tank here, but there is a bevy of mold marks all the way along this frame. So one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and there, and there, and there, and everywhere. So make sure you get rid of those with your hobby blade or sandpaper. Fortunately, a lot of them are in a spot where you can just drag a block right across the top, so that's not too bad. Underneath, nice and smooth. Why couldn't they have molded this upside down and put all the mold marks up here? No one knows. But overall, I would say this frame is quite beautiful. And here we have our first big parts tree. And as you can see, we've got our floor panel in here with that nice pleated center console, which of course is really groovy. There's our differential up underneath, our firewall, and then the pedals which go onto the firewall. Here we have our radiator and the front axle blocks as well as the pins. There's that nice pink engine block as well as our dashboard. And these parts are pretty smooth, so I assume that, yep, all the mold marks are underneath. And you can tell this is an original Revell kit right here because it says Revell Inc. 76 and 77. So again, a really awesome kit by James. Thanks for loaning it to us. And then, of course, we got to take off all these mold marks. So again, nicely done, but quite a bit of work just to smooth this out. Our next parts tree, of course, includes the roof panel, the front chin spoiler, the overhead console, and the panel that goes across the back of the van, as well as our door here. Something was in here that snapped out, but our other door was over here. So this parts tree is where it gets all nice and groovy. As you can see, we've got the Charlie's Angels bed here with these really amazing throw pillows, which have really nice detail. There is that snack tray, as well as our steering column on here, our shock absorbers the lower A arms, the drive shaft. This does come with a plastic axle, so what I would do is actually replace this with a metal one just for more stability. There's our CB radio right in there, our engine block top half, which is actually quite like a Johan model kit. Even the belt and pulley is that way. There's our pleated panels, as well as the seat bottoms. And again, very nicely done. The mold marks this time around are where you want them to be, which is hidden out of view. There's only one here that might be troublesome on the center of this part here, which of course would interfere with a little bit of the seating, so remember to remove that mold mark. So here we have our remaining pink panels that were loose in the box, with the exception of these side panels here that we'll take a look at in a moment. There's our hood with a little nose scoop, our front bucket seats, and that missing rear door, as well as our fan. Now taking a look at our interior panel, you can see here we have a TV and potentially an ice box underneath. But look at that TV, that's just like the one I showed in the beginning of this video. Again, the detail on here is nice and crisp. You can take a look at that nice pleating in there. Looks like they have some sort of armrest here on the door, as well as the window cranks and door cranks. So again, very nicely done. Next up we have our clear components. These are actually molded in a smoke color, which was quite popular again in the 70s. As you can see, we've got our rear windows here, the side windows, and of course all our little glass for the lights and tail lights. And then here we have the sky lamps as well. So again, nicely done. There is quite a bit of flash on the edges, so something that can easily be cleaned up to make it look fantastic. Now normally I would be showing a chrome parts tree, but this model kit does not have one. In fact, it actually has a black smoke colored parts tree instead. So here we can see we've got our grill. We've also got these nice mag wheels, which have a, quite a bit of flash on them. And then we've got our Nerf bumpers, our wheel backs, our air cleaner, and of course we have our side pipes and our exhaust manifold. Part of the things that have fallen out of here are, of course, the side, one of the side mirrors and our steering wheel and the other manifold. But overall, the detail on this is not too bad. Again, watch out for those mold mark lines. You'll need to clean them up. Our next parts tree is our tires. These will all have to be clipped off and then put together. 
Now what's interesting about these is they are GT radials and they are two-piece tires. So that would mean that they would go together something like that with uh, one end having the little bits that stick out here and the other having the sunken in area so that they will accept the bits that stick out. So they would go together like that. There is a nice tread on here, but again, the two-piece tires are problematic. You can get them together with crazy glue, I have heard, but again, it's sort of conditional. Finally, we have our Charlie's Angels decal sheet, which actually looks like it held up all this time. There's only one slight problem with it. It's coiled, but uh, that's why I'm holding it down. So as you can see, we've got that nice Foxy 3 license plate and the beautiful Charlie's Angels decal here for both left and right hand side. And that completes our look at the Charlie's Angels van from Ravel from 1977. And I'd like to thank my good friend James for loaning us this old historic kit so that we were able to open up the lid and see what was in the box. And if you would like to check out all our current available model kits, visit us at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Currently, we have a lot of cool kits from the 1950s, and we always try to add in new stuff when we can afford it. So until next time, everybody, happy model building.